The state of one's shoes is the state of one's self. Mine formed gaping mouths months ago, yearning to become body themselves, clung to the dust and the mud of the ground as if it was all they could hold. Underneath foundation, my skin is red raw, scaled in patches, something like the rings of cut down trees or the snake skin once shed. Launch me into the ocean of my body, rock me within the meeting of our two skins. We can wear our faces like disguises, we can choose pet names for each other, just please don't separate my breasts and individually name them like a species of bird you have found that you cup at once, gentle and possessive. This body of mine is not treasure hunting. I mark myself with X's where you said you liked. The small sensitive ears that like a tongue. You will have no trouble with what comes next. You will not see the resemblance that outlines absence. You will not fail to recognise it in the mirror. You will not need the anchors I found in makeup. You will come finally to the mouth, those rearranged teeth, the one that came in twisted, the jawbone shaved to release painful wisdom, the tricksy tongue that can reject all sustenance. Here is the sag of my ass. I ask friends to assess when I'm drunk in shorts. Sometimes I catch sight of myself in mirrors, shop windows, and think, not good enough. Who or what it is I'm not good enough for, I can't tell, though in that role I have previously cast the following stars. My boyfriend, myself, sunlight, kindness, and anyone who ever turned me down for anything.